All right, so we're going to have a, this is going to be the game of, never mind the bill hooks. I've just put my miniatures down on the end of the, end of the table here. We're going to do the maneuver phase. Um, so I'm just going to, so we'll just dice to see who moves first. Okay, so what do I roll? I roll the five. Oh. I, 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 I shall roll mine. I should, yeah, I should get red dice. Well, yeah, your red roses. I, I, I should, I should get, get red, red dice. dice. That's the way to do things, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So. Six. Okay, the Lancastrians. Roland's playing the Lancastrians. And, um, oh, I, I guess we should talk about the armies. Um, running Yorkists. I've got um, Richard Earl of Salisbury, and he's going to command the cavalry. And he is the commander-in-chief, and he's a hero. And then all this foot here... Uh, so there's three units of longbow and three units of billmen, and then there's a unit of veteran men at arms, and they're commanded by Edmund, um, Earl of Rutland. Uh, we also have a cannon, and we've got one unit of skirmishing archers. The Lancastrians have a unit of light horse and a unit of knights, and they're under the command of Somerset, and he's the the Lancastrian commander in chief, so he's a hero. And then all the foot, which is Two units of pike. Oh, other way around, Scott. So Exeter. Oh, is Exeter. My... Is he going to be your commander in chief? Yeah, so Exeter. Exeter is going to be commander in chief, and he's commanding three units of uh, bill and bow, two small skirmish and crossbow, two bases of pike from uh, from the continent, a unit of light horse, and a unit of men at arms on horse, so knights in other words. And so that's the two armies. So we're going to do the maneuver phase now. Okay, so this is the first time um, I've ever played Nevermind the bill, bill Hooks, and the same shame for Rowan. Um, there's no real uh, tactical plan for either of us. We were simply a case of we just placed some miniatures on the table, and um, we just wanted to, to, to have a game and, and see how it played. Um, the author recommends 100 points per side. For this game, we went 150 points each per side. Uh, for no other reason, we wanted to see if we could break the game. Um, um, so see what happens. You can you can see what happens from that point on. We're now going through the manoeuvre phase of the game. The manoeuvre phase is basically you deploy your troops on the table and then um, you take it in turns manoeuvring uh, units or a unit until you get to a position where um, uh, firing or, or ranged combat takes place or an enemy engages in close combat. Um, and at that point, the maneuver phase ends, and then you go to the card-driven um, mechanism of the game. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about the actual mechanics or game mechanisms that are in, in used in Nevermind the Bill Hooks, uh, but I will put a link in the description, which will take you to the War Games Illustrated YouTube channel, where the author of the rules um, steps you through the game. I think there's about nine videos in the series, and um, quite frankly, um, the author is in a far better position to explain the mechanics of the game than someone who is playing their first game um, here and now. So this is more of a, just a broad overview of Never Mind the Bill Hooks and some thoughts um, on it. Um, so without further ado, um, let's get into the game. In that case, we'll go hurtling this way. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's eight. Yeah, eight inches. And I suspect it's yeah, the knights the knights are gonna go, oh we're gonna go about eight inches that away. Somerset leading them. Mm-hmm. And we'll send these guys hurtling out. Oh hang on, just just one unit. Oh so they've done one unit. Yeah, okay, so I'll do my unit now and I'll move these men at arms, uh, 45 at six, I'll just go to there. All right, so that's them done. And now your next unit. These guys can sort of move in any direction. Yeah, they can, like, I'll just move as a mob. I've just put them on bases because it just makes it easier measuring from a point to a point. But essentially they just move as a mob and they can be in as many ranks or, you know, 
Yeah, and it's easy to move. They're just, yeah, they're just a loose swarm, essentially. Yes, individual would be a bit of a pain in the Yeah. Individual. All right. So, forward goes my, this ward here. And range of archers is? Um, it's 18 inches, I think, when they shoot. Uh, archers. Um, yes, 18. Uh, here we go. Short 16. range, and then there's long range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, archers. It's 15 for long. And 9, nine for short. short. Yeah. So 15 inches. So a little lad went out and threw a rock. It will place yeah. the stone. Yeah, it was oh, about there in the room. Yeah. Well, we seem to be defending a, a, a gap between two woods. Yes. Looks like we were expecting you. Do we need to come in? Okay. Um, I'll move my skirmishes. All right. The, the one unit at a time. Yeah. So skirmish is... Left foot. So they eight. just... Yeah. Uh, yeah, they move eight. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So yes, 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 yes. Okay, careful in this way. Slash European types. Yeah. Not suppose. All right. Um, I think I'll move my skirmishes, actually. Need some Shire arches. Well, you could always use your Bretonian, Scott. Yeah, you could. There, but um, yeah, you could. You could use. Well, I saw one video of guy was using a, a, a mix of all all manner of type of. Um, oh, there's many. Uh, I think the Perry's I prefer. They look quite pretty. Yeah. I'm not sure what other figure manufacturers, I think the viewers could tell us, that might work well with theories. Yeah. Considering they've got an extensive uh, Wall of Roses range, I reckon. And yeah, the Perry's are, pretty that's pretty that, they're my go-to for the... Yeah. And reasonable too, I reckon. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, you, like, one, you know, two boxes of infantry, and, you know, uh, I think they're... Bob's your own. Uh, it's, it's a Bows and Bills box, so you get mm -hmm. Bowman and Billman and... I even think they, they come with a few mounted, uh, dismounted men at arms in it as well. Nice. I'm not too sure, but that's the way to go, I think. Six inch ones? Yes, I think. I could always use my stick and don't remove it. more than 12. Yeah. Oh, I'll just find it home. As you do. Okay, and you can use this, uh, yeah, you can move the same unit each time. It's in your move phase. You can keep moving it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, in that case. You could move the knights again, for example. Well, I don't know. Put them out on the well, wild, wild Essex. That's yeah. obviously going. Well, oh, well, follow me, boys. We know. We'll show you how this is done. And the degree of arc of fire for forty-five. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, look. So what all I do is I just go. No, we don't and then, care. Then we boom, run you boom, over. Boom, boom. Yeah, we run you over. Because that's what we do. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, we only go eight of memory serves, correct? That's right. And the skirmish and cavalry can go 10. So I might throw the skirmish and cavalry up first because mm. that's what we do. Oh, then, oh, it doesn't matter about range either. No. Yeah. 10. Drop back a smidge because that will allow that to go forward, like yeah. so. And you can't shoot three units, I believe. No, no. Outside edge. Oh, I think it's a game we immediately. Oh, and you can't move them again. You've already moved, you just moved them. Oh, yes. With one unit at a yeah. time. Next turn, next, yeah, yeah. next, next phase. Step. Next, oh, oh. yes, yes. Wait, yes. Somerset, slow down. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I guess I'll move my cannon. I'll just <laughs> look, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> look, there's some people. Yeah. And then I shall move these. Yeah. And eight. Yeah, it gets me there. All right. No. Like so. Whereupon I'm going to fire. Boom. Now my turn, and that boom, ends the manoeuvre phase. So I get a free shot with my cannon. Take that, you yeah. Lancaster. Okay, dice. so the di the cannons fire six um, dice. Get my men at arms. Uh, I, I don't think I shoot the men at arms. I think I have to shoot at the, the oh. to the front. Yeah, those lads. Yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll blaze away. So that, that ends. Thus ends the manoeuvre phase. So now we're, but I'll fire and then we go to cards. All right, so first things first. Six dice, shooting at the... Six dice, now, cannons. Let's have a look. Mm. So if you roll more ones than sixes, how much ugly damage thing. they do. Uh, 14 inches, yes. so I think the range makes much difference. So, does it? No, I don't think it does. Guns and crews. Yes. Um, they shoot up to 30. Zero to 30, no yeah. short, no long. Yeah. 
Uh, melee, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Bombard goes boom. Okay. I roll ones. Uh, one, one hit, so that's a kill. So he's killed just now. You can't take one guy off. Yes, I can. Oh, you can it's remove a guy off the horse. Yeah, All right, horse. cut exactly. out was Lancastrian skirmishes. Well, that's skirmish cavalry, is it? No, they're not classes. They're they're cavalry. Ah. Skirmishes are these fellas just the here. Lads only get the coon yeah. and archers and crossbowmen and handgunner types. That's right. Lovely. So the crossbowmen can fire, or they could move and fire, or, or they fire, can, fire, or they could fire, fire. Can but crossbows fire twice though? Well, that's that's an interesting I point. Don't put these lads. Well, I know any everybody else can, so I'm assuming they can shoot and fire and fire and shoot or shoot and shoot and move or move. Pick on a five six at any range up to twelve. Yeah. So let's get the stick out. So there's the stick of death. Yep. Uh, so we probably need to move. Yep. To hit these lads. Yeah. Um, for probably uh, eight inches. Yeah. Can we move eight inches, Ryan says to himself. Uh, funnily enough, we move eight. Yeah. So they move eight and then they throw six dice. So we go to here. Yeah. And then we Shoot. let loose our Italian crossbow. Yeah, they're going to fire at the, the men at arms. Is it six dice, I believe? Yeah, six dice. It's hard if they're shooting at um, other skirmishes. And we have infinite ammo. Yeah, and then what they hit on sixes, did you say? Uh, hit five and six at any range up yep. to 12. So that's okay. your advantage is they don't lose due to range. Yeah, yeah. But they're quite short. Yeah, they're quite short. Five and six. Two. Two hits. Sounds okay, reverent. and um, I save on anything but a one. Uh, what are they? Men at arms. So oh, they're looking. really heavy. Oh, wow. One or two. Yeah, anything but a one or two and they save, yeah? Yep. yep. One or two, they suck the big tamale. Okay, one oh. one falls down. When Yorkus takes a hit. Okay. Um, so I'll just get their casualty yeah. mark. Yeah. So they've moved up and they can't, they're not in range to shoot. No. But um, right. it, it must be another cat. There you go. That's how yep. a catapult. Bonus. Okay, so now we dice. Ah. To see who gets the bonus card. I roll. A, well, I ain't getting it. Three. All right. So you get this bonus oh, card. So I just oh. take that, give it to you. And I, I chuckle. Yeah, you, you cackle <laughs> mercilessly, and then you can say you want. I would use... like to draw a card from the special deck, please. Oh, a special event, is it? Yes, I shall have one of right. those. But then I shall chuckle louder. Now that one I was talking about before, you know, where they, they change sides. Like I no. said, no. Nah, we'll use that as um. Let's say it's something like um. Oh, we, we, we can just vary with the dice. One to two, it marches off the table. Yeah. Three or four goes on, not following anyway. No one's paying me enough. Five, six. Gig. Yeah. Change of sides. Yeah. I just think that the changing side thing is just brutal. Well, we like some. We, well, Scott and I we, were talking earlier, and depending on the battles, we can th insert cards mm. that reflect the flavour, like. As you said, Talton with the blizzard. Yeah. Um, Bosworth getting Bosworth, my, losing a horse. Bosworth horse. So, yeah. Yeah. so the everybody. next one out is... Oh, it's Salisbury. Salisbury. Big um, which is my knights. Huzzah. And um, it could conceivably be them. So he's in... He's He can command anything within six. He can. Um, so what he's going to do is he's going to order these archers to move up. So they go forward with these chaps. There oh. they go. He's got three orders. But they're from a different ward, aren't they? Yeah, but he's this lands. commander in chief, so he yeah, can do that. Yeah, oh, really nice. Yep, and so then he can tell the knights to move forward, and he will. Because he's got three. Well, actually, he's got two. He's got two actions, so he's going to move, and then they're going to move again. I think. So move, move. Yeah, so they're going to move, move. So he's got three actions, has he not? That's right. Because he is the the, the big man, the head honcho, the top dog, the, the big, big cheese. cheese. So he can order anyone. So move, move. Yeah, so he's going to tell these guys to move twice. And then he's got one left for his own. Which is for himself, and he's just going to go, right, knights, follow me. And he's going to take these men-at-arms, mm -hmm. galloping forward to there. Right, the local knights are coming yep. out to play. And he's with them. He's uh, on a horse with those guys. All right, so that's Salisbury done. Okay, Pop next, card, next, and the last card's never played. played I heard, yeah. uh, a Yorkist, oh, my skirmish is an artillery. Hazard, yes, okay, yes. so, well, my first thing I'll fire is my artillery. Bang! And I'm pretty sure they can only shoot once. I would say so. Yeah. And uh, that's six dice, and um, roll some death yeah. destruction. No armor saves. So there you go. Yeah, no. Don't roll too many ones, One, two, three, four. I probably need another dice. Uh, Boom again, and remember, if I roll three ones, my cannon explodes. Um, Two no, ones. Went close, but yeah, no, no, no hits. Now that leaves my skirmishing archers. 
Yes, they okay. shoot my archers. So they're gonna no, nah, they're gonna shoot your uh, well forty. Oh, they got no. Yeah, arms. they're a mo yeah. That's right. They can just go no arms, plop. Or shoot away. Well, they can move and then shoot anyway. Well, there you go. So we'll do that. If you say. But before I could uh, continue with my uh, movement, Brolin played the uh, special event card that he had in his hand, which was ambush. You have an extra band of skirmishers hidden in an unoccupied building, wood, or other patch of bad going. So um, suddenly, some uh, some extra. Skirmishes appeared in that wood. So there's some dastardly archers hanging out in the woods. All right. So with that in mind, I'll shoot at the the, the these the, guys the, here. The light cavalry lads. Yep. Uh, Hits on fives and sixes. Six isn't dice, it? isn't it? Yeah, six dice. And if I'm hitting on fives and sixes, I've got two hits. Okay, so you got two fives. Yep. So cross them in five and six and you range up to twelve. Yeah, there you go. And oh I'm pretty sure you're within twelve. Look at that. Yep. Boom. So it's two saves. Yep. Uh light horse. Five and six. Yep. Oh, both saved. Two rising suns. Yeah, yeah. Bunzo. Okay. Um so that's all my skirmish. Oh, I've only got one unit of skirmishes and one bombard, so that they're it's fired. It. And some dastardly Lancastrian. Yep. And who's, who's the next out? Exeter, your chap with your infantry. All right, so Exeter has moved this unit forward and then removed the disarray. And then he's ordered this unit. So that's his... So he's got three command tokens. So he's gone... Uh, I'm going to order you to move. Because the they've done one move. Um... Would no, because when you cross a hedge and you become disarrayed, that ends your turn, nice. your actions immediately. Mm -hmm. And so he then orders these guys forward. They've moved forward once, which means they still have one action left. They're happy to stay where they are. Yeah, but they're not going to use it. And that's that's Exodus 3 command uh, used, essentially. Nice. All right. Bonus. Okay, we, we dice. We dice again. Oh, my. Two this time. You're improving. Wow, this oh, time I got it. Oh, oh, I got the bonus. Okay, so I just draw it. Ah, okay. Okay. I'll, I'll keep that. Okay. All right, so even with a two, I managed to get that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, there's only two cards left, which means the bottom one will not get drawn. Yep. Because the last one's never drawn. And it's Somerset. Uh, your, your knights. Yeah, I've been taking shots and being hurt. Yeah. So let's see. So I can do two charges. You could conceivably charge, charge. with them and charge that. No, no. You, 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 when you charge, you charge a unit. Oh. Yeah. Does he not have two actions? Yeah, but if you, you can't charge, fight, then charge on and fight. Oh no, no, no. no. These guys, because they got. A... Oh no, no. But Somerset. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, I've got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got two actions. So, yeah, we'll just those lads run yeah. over them. Yep. Yeah. And uh, we'll take on the uh, artillery on the hill. All right, then. No worries. How does that sound? That, that sounds yeah. good. So, we're, what we've come up with is yeah. these archers are out here. They're being charged by this light horse. Yeah. They can reach in their first phase, the first movement thing, because they can go 14, and so they can hit them. Yeah. Now, what we're the question is... Um, if they're contacted within the first uh, move, my the way I understand it is if they're contacted within the first move, they cannot evade. Therefore, they will be they will be fighting in hand to hand here. Yeah. Um, Option if, B. If if they didn't reach them in the first move, then they could evade. Or the other thing is the other interpretation is the minute they declare a charge on them, they then can yeah. evade. Yeah. Um, so that they would evade, and then they, they won't reach them, but they do have their second movement, and then they might pursue after them. Well, or hit. except these probably guys will have something to say about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they, But you can't charge uphill into artillery either. So like a trot. You could just walk up to them and start hitting people with lances and stuff. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I, I'm, I think that because they can be reached in the first phase... I, I'm, my rationale is I don't think they would have time to react, so they're going to have to... They get caught, essentially. Okay, so this game will play it this way. Yeah, and we'll, we'll find we'll out what the, the interpretation is. is. Yeah. Yeah. So right. anyway, so these, these five light horsemen come crashing into these six skirmishing archers. All right, so that's going to be... That's going to be the first melee really? of the game. Melee, okay, yeah. Something. Oh, you want to go first? Oh, okay. Oh. Um, no, one, one hit. One. So one hit on you. 
And then you get how many hits on me? Four, Three. five, six, six. Oh, and I can re-roll my ones because I'm yeah. the attacker. Yeah, yeah. So like having a grand rifle. Yeah. And I'm not special cavalry or anything like that. No. So I'll re-roll the ones. Four or plus. There we go. Okay. We squeeze. So you got four and I got one. And then we roll the save. So I roll the save. Um, four, five, and six in melee for light yeah. horse. No. no. So another light horseman falls over. Ugh. Um, and I'm. I think I need some like. Yeah. I got four hits on me, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, and so I need to roll. I think sixes for mm. skirmishes. Five and six. Oh, save two of them. Five and six for you. Yep. So I lost two. Two lads fall over. Yep. And so let's see what the result is. So we, yeah. Five or six. Yep. On one dice minus uh, the difference. Uh, it was only granting the number of losses. Oh, yep. So it's not the losses. So you lost two. Yep. So roll a d6. Get five in there. Two. No, no, no I did. No. So they'll do something. Yeah, I think they'll they'll go. Fail. Let's get the hell out of dodge. Uh, if it's equal, yeah. If the resulting score is five or more, but equal to or less than the number of casualties sustained, yeah. During the battle, it is daunted. Yeah. Da da Daunted troops must retreat. Yeah. Found in crossbow with handguns, you retreat after losing your can't shoot again in the sky. Oh, so the skirmishers got caught, they killed a light horseman, two of them died, but the rest broke. Which makes sense. That seems pretty it's reasonable. Yeah. All right, so that's them done for the They've got another move, haven't they? No, that's them. That's, that's it. it. They moved and melee So melee sort of like stops the, the thing. They can't then move on to the next, you know. Mm, yeah, because yeah. they charged and they melee and now well, they moved and they melee. And 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 now they're there. They would have to follow up if they're infantry, but that, because there's the, no one there to follow up. Because they then roll badly. They just went. So actually, that was good that they went poof. Yeah. Because they didn't go poof. They would go through your unit, not disarray them. Yeah. But that would have then allowed these guys to go. Oh, I'm going to chase you. Yeah, and they would have come into contact with them. them. Yeah. All right. So that's that done. I've got one here. I've got one order left. There's a cannon on a hill. I'm sure you can shoot over my guys to get me. I'm sure. Uh, no. If I well, there's a gap. I can shoot past them. Yeah. Well, yeah. But so, so anyway, your knights are they going to um, try to move to contact with I the think I cannon? So we we can move. Okay. So he's used both of his moves to get into contact with the bombard. Well, unsurprisingly, the knights blew straight through the bombard. Hacked them down, and so now the Yorkist uh, bombard and the Yorkist uh, skirmishing archers uh, have been dispatched. They are no more. Uh, turn two. Turn two. Yorkist leader Salisbury. Okay, that's this fella here. Huzzah. All right. Now you got your fancy card too, Mister. I do. Oh, so oh, I'm in range of those it's pesky. Hmm. Those pes pesky skirmishes. Um, what am I going to do? There is some Lancastrian cavalry on your flank. Yeah, but I can't activate them because yeah. that's just the way it is. Um, but their card might not turn up yet, or who knows? Who knows? Who knows what could happen? Um, that's the beauty of a card driven system. You're at the mercy of the cards. You are. Play. All right, so Salisbury's going to do. Lovely, his... 45, yep, lovely. Range, yep, they'll be short range, I take it? Yeah, they're at short range. Two so. Seeker, to determine the manner of dice roll, count number of troops shooting, only men in the first two ranks, disarray or daunted, and only count your front. Skirmish is not affected by this. Yeah. Probably kind of double because it's three men times two. Uh, half the score when skirmish and artillery are shooting at each other. Oh, that's right. Ah, so it's only at each other. Yeah. And now half. So it's just it's round, just. Oh, round halves up. So there you go. We've got a yeah. Pretty list here. Uh, and you just need to hit uh, fives and six, and I'll hit these guys. So I'm shooting with twelve dice, hitting on fives and no, sixes. That's short range. Five and six. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, yeah, five hits. Oh. Five hits, and they save uh, on a five and a six? Yes, I believe we save on uh, skirmishes like horse, five and six. Yep. We decide to save ourselves. So, so five hits on those chaps. Five and six, we get away with it. Well, you save two. Three dead. Three dead, so that's... Oh. That's half of them just went plop. Well, yeah. 
for all the lumber. But that's good. Yeah, there's individuals what running around. Yeah. Oh well, I think that, that that's they'll run away by that stage. Well, all right, so that's um, that's Salisbury done. Probably the shooting. They fired. They got uh, five hits. They saved two. Uh, three's gone. Okay, Yorkist leader Rutland. Okay. Ah, here we go. And if you've got a leader attached to your unit that took three, yeah. more than three casualties for yeah. shooting, then the leader might get you hit. You may take an arrow to the eye. Or yeah. Oh, my eye, my eye, my godforsaken eye. And that could literally be a... Um... Yeah. So the second card out is Rutland, who didn't get to... The Earl yeah. of Rutland, who didn't get to do anything last turn, but now he's been spurred into action he's like, oh, because he's like, sweet and merciful crap, look at those... Those big men on horses. Warning, whatnot. warning, they're within one charge yeah. move, so you couldn't yeah. change your facing if you weren't yeah. So, um, Earl of Rutland, Edmund, has basically, his first command, he, he basically got these knights, yeah. uh, this amount of knights, they've, they've wheeled to there, and then he got these guys to change facing. So they pick up a disarray token, and then their second move, they their second action, they place their stakes. They've gone, oh, look, those nasty cavalrymen. All right, so that's Rutland done. Next, Next card, card out is Lancastrian skirmishes. Huzzah! So one, two, three. You got lots of them. I did. Someone, someone give me. Well, well, we'll lay some love down on these guys. Yeah, it's six there. Uh, so that is skirmishes hitting on. Uh, f uh, we're skirmishing archers, so we hit at any range up to twelve, which we're yep. in once per turn. Yep. Uh, five and six. Yep. So six rolling on five or six. Yep. Uh, three. Three hits, and I save on anything but a one and a two. Uh, oh, you're heavily armoured. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, two arrows. Geez. I'm rolling terribly three for lads. my men at arms. And then these lads will throw some more love at you. Yep. Uh, six dice again. Three. Two oh, more for over. Jeez. So that's uh, nice. five. So that's almost a rear rank gone from just skirmish fire. Oh, that, these are these are Lancastrian like skirmishes, Scott. Oh, yeah. That's all right. Uh, so how many guys And you've got unit? three guys 12. here. Yeah, all foot of 12. Oh. All heavy foot of 12. And I've got one more unit over here, which might take, well, if they die, no one cares. That's right. <laughs> and you don't use a chip for them either. No. Yeah, no, they do block you from no, taking Nobody cares about them. Nobody cares. Skirmishes. So in actual fact, I might just... Shoot and scoot. Mm-hmm. Well, you have to shoot to the one yeah. in front of the yeah. Oh, I don't think skirmishers do, actually, but oh, by the boy. Oh, I could, I, I could shoot at your knights. Oh, yeah. What's my chance of killing your knights? Pretty minimal. Oh, you only save on a full plus. Mm. You mean an arm save on... Jeez, they're like little tanks. Yes. They are little tanks. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll, I'll shoot at your knights, because... Yeah, right. Because we, we will. Okay. You can run us down. One, one hit. One hit. Take that, you horrible person. Oh, dice overboard. What was it, one? Four. Oh, ping off your... Yeah. Uh, Clang. Off your fancy yeah. armour. All right, so that's all the skirmishes. Oh, no, we're, we're running away now. Yeah. Because we've got another move, you see. Yeah. Because right. they're not going to move. They'll stay put where they are. Yep. Yeah. Actually, no, they can move out of the way. Maybe you need to make a line like that. Yeah. There you go. So those skirmishes dashed off into the woods. <laughs> These guys have gone over there. That's it. All right. Uh, the Yorker skirmishes, there are none. Oh, bonus. Let's roll to see who gets that. Uh, two again. Six. Uh, you've got the bonus card this time. Oh, we've been alternating. Yeah. Ooh, that's a handy card. Mm -hmm. Oh, bonus. All right. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Oh, maybe six. I'll get it this time. Maybe, you'll maybe. Get it. maybe. Oh, oh it's tied. What we'll roll again? I like my little red dice. Oh, six. Six again. Oh, oh, oh five. Last time. Oh, oh. time I got it. And what have I got? Oh, okay. I have one, you have two. Yep. Next card out Exeter, which is the guy in the rear, I'm pretty sure. Exeter? Yeah, that's Exeter. Yeah, my boss. And that's Somerset, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's Which means boss, Somerset's the last one out, and he doesn't get a turn this turn. Oh, Which well, we, you didn't get Rutland either. So. Yeah, yes. All works out in the end. It does. 
So, Exeter. Mm-hmm. Exeter's oh, uh, ordered a arrow storm onto these guys. Leading sixes. Sixes? Yep. Uh, one. One hit. And okay. the second arrow storm comes in. Uh, is that 12 wouldn't name, was it? Yep. Okay. One, two, two three. three. Three hits. Okay, so three hits. Not quite the storm. No, seven, seven, seven on fives and sixes. Oh, oh, I saved two. So one, one, one archer falls down. Falls down. So now, and these last command, he gave these guys uh, in order to move up. So they moved once, and now they're going to fire. They're going to loose. Loose. And two, uh, three. Three hits. Oh, the fives have been better. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Five and six save for three hits. Two. Two. So another two casualties. That takes them up to three from the rear rank. Nothing terrible yet. No. And for his third. Well, he's, oh, yeah. So he's ordered them. He's ordered them. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll probably move forward, do a small wheel, mm -hmm. and go forward and loose some arrows. All right. So squeak, 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 squeak. Take an inch off for that. Move forward five. So I'm sure within your, uh, what's your charge range? 14. Something like that. So if I pull back, just give me that extra range. So I'm not going to get with the 90 do, I know that. So our range for our uh, arrows is? 15. 15, so we go to 15, because your charge range is 14. Uh, yeah, it's 8 and 8 is 16. Ooh. And then you get 4. Oh, yes, but I'm not for that magic 1. Oh, I don't care. Oh, I, I mean, it's, I can go 16 inches by two moves. Oh, yeah. And then I can get a, a and if I charge, I get a bonus, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't want to get first round charge bonus. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can reach uh, 12, I hope. Yeah, so it's 12 dice and hitting on sixes. Yes. Right. Oh, that's a precariously balanced one. I would take one. One hit. And we save on anything but a, a six. A six. Yeah, so, yeah, so they loosed at the knights and it went ping, ping, ping off um, Richard Neville's armor. Yeah. He's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> brave chaps. Okay, so now we shuffle the deck and we go for two. All right. First one out is the Yorkist Skirmishers and Artillery. I think we can take that out. We don't have to worry about them anymore. Next card. <laughs> Lancastrian Skirmishers. Oh, well, there you go. Um, I, I shall loose three arrows. At, at the Knights? At the Knights. Just yeah. to take that, sir. One, one hit. Oh, oh, kill the Knight. There we go. All right, so we've got a, a Knight. Goes, oh, fuck. I'll just put a... Oh, thunk. T H U N K. Thunk. Now the remaining Lancastrian skirmishers, skirmishers open fire and they shoot at the um, men at arms. Yeah. I'll well, take one. One hit. You never know, you could roll a one, Mr. Scott. Yeah, well, I've been rolling lots of them, haven't I? Three. Oh, three. They're all right. Okay, the sneaky archers in the Loose. woods. Three hits. Three hits. There we go. That might do them. Wow, oh, one more. Okay, so that's the front rank. That's the rear rank gone. They're down to a single rank of men at arms. That's Jeez, that's that's been tragic. What's happening? They're tough little dudes. They're just being pinned away by skirmishers. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, next one out is oh bonus. Okay, oh. so we roll again to see who gets that. Oh, I got a six. You've rerolled a few sixes for that. Three. I got another card. Got a bonus card. What have yeah. I got this time? So we might save it. Ooh. Yeah, okay. That's an interesting one. Okay. Um, next oh, card. next card out You're is... Four. Oh, Rutland. The Earl of uh, Edmund. Earl of Rutland. All right. Let's well, see what he does. Was, he's ordered this unit. So it was to remove... His first order was to remove the disarray. And then he's... Um, yeah, well, there's two actions. So move the disarray and then get them to fire. And then he'll order, he'll, he'll give these guys an order in a minute. But the first thing to do is um, get these guys to fire. So 12 dice at these knights. So disarray is one action and one action to, to shoot. Is to shoot, so that's two actions he's used. Yeah, for, well, two actions for that unit. Oh, okay. So moving yeah. disarray counts as one action for the unit? or one Yeah, for the I, think it, I think it does. We'll check that in a minute, but they'll certainly get one oh, loose yeah, in. So let's yeah, sure. so hitting at that hitting at fives. 
Yeah, five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, five hits. Wow, that's pretty good going. Yep. But they're mounted night, so they save on four plus, I'm pretty sure. Oh, they're pretty good. Yep. Uh, well, it's only four plus. Yep. Two. Uh, two. So three Three, dead. three lads fell okay, off. Okay, so that would mean there's five knights left. Yes. So we just put it, uh, if you get one of the casualty markers. I'll put three on it. And we put three on it. Yeah. We'll know that exactly. there's um, five and the left. Men have, have not made it. Yeah. Now, um, so his first action was to remove disarray. Yep. His second action is to activate these. So yes. they're fired once, and so now they're going to fire a second time. Yes. All right. Yes, you can. So they'll fire again. I think we might have got this wrong. I think if you remove disarray, or if a unit is rallying, that is counted as an action. But um, hey, it's a learning game. So delving into my bonus cards, the ones that I, I had in my hand, I did have perk, so I fired so using that so card. Perk. So they're going to loose again. Oh, oh. Say it again, sir. So one, one, two. two. That's it. Um, I'm going to roll that again. I've got another bonus card that says, <laughs> allows me to re-roll a hand of dice. Uh, so, <laughs> that was that was so dismal. We're going to so go... How many rounds of arrows have you fired from these layers now? Three this turn? This will be three. Yeah, so yeah. It, half your quivers is gone, but still pretty fancy. Yeah, yeah. I'll roll it again if I do. Oh, one, one, two, two three. 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 Uh, improved it by one. Oh, well, no. Poke yeah. in the eye with an arrow. Well, that's right. Ask Harold of Godwinson. Godwinson. Oh, I'll roll that again. You saved one. Two. You saved two. Two. Is Mounted Knights uh, four, four plus? plus. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so another one dead. So That's four, four dead. So we've cut down half of them. Yeah, that's pretty good shooting. Now, um, is it three plus that they have to check to see if the and leaders... any round of combat and sh in any round of shoot, but I will check. Yes. All right, so... Uh, these guys have fired three times now, so that's three, three out of their six. Well, um, they've halved the uh, the knights. <laughs> <They're> yeah. Like, <laughs> well, I guess that's um, worthwhile. All right. Yeah. So the bonus. That, well, yeah. Just yeah, you threw a lot of what, what we decided. They, they they took they took um, over three in the the phase of shooting, but three, three they shooting. didn't take over three in a single volley. volley. So we're going to say that. The leader only tests if he if a unit takes uh, three or more hits from a single volley. Yeah. So one, one yeah one one yeah shooting. Okay, the next one out is Salisbury, uh, which is this chap over here. Oh, oh Lancastrians are moving rather fast. Yeah, we've we've seized the initiative in this phase. All goes. right, so um, they're loosing twice at those guys. Now the archers were at the front. Yep. So we're shooting at the archers, and then I'm going to charge him with the knights, whereupon the billmen would, will come forward. But the, the shot is actually at the... Um, archers first. At the archers. Yeah. All right. Leading right. sixes. Yeah, one, two, three. three. Three hits on the archers. Uh, saving on... A five or six, I think. Is it? Five and six. Five and six. Yeah. All right. Let's see if they save. Two. Two saves, one dead. Jeez, they're, they're, their armour is good. Armour is good. So one dead um, archer. All right, and whereupon the knights now charge forward. So my cunning plan is as follows. I've noticed that Exeter is with this block of uh, bow and billmen. So um, Salisbury is going to uh, charge in with his knights. Um, if Exeter disengages from the block of Bow and Billman, then they'll become disarrayed, which will make um, charging them down easier. If he doesn't, if he stays with them, um, then maybe the two leaders can engage in a hand-to-hand -hand combat. And um, maybe um, Salisbury can kill Exeter. So I'm taking a leaf out of Richard III's book here, and um, let's see uh, if... Let's see how it plays right, out. So, yeah, we've got the melee here. Are the melee four plus or five plus? Um, four plus. It's four. It's four plus. Uh, oh, yeah, four plus is a melee, a, isn't it? Yeah, it hits a melee. I've got 14. I reroll ones, twos, and threes. Threes for one round. Yeah. Um, Rolling dice. Can we go in? Yeah. So, Charge. Here they go. So, I'll take away the ones, twos, and threes. Oh, which is pretty much everything. That's not a four. So, so far, that's six hits. Yeah, six hits so far. Ooh, could be nasty. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That helps. So eleven out of fourteen went through. Now you roll your hand to hand. Needing four players. Yeah. Sixes. Go as good as we got. Yeah. Now I save, however, on anything but. I save on four. How many hits did you get anyway? Uh, I got eight. eight. Eight to 11. So we gave almost yeah. as good as we got. So I'll roll. I'm going to re roll eight. And I'm going to roll. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, eight hits on you. And you save on anything on a one or a two. Because you're in melee. Yeah. So one or two on your eight dice, you fall either. Ooh. Oh. Look at that. Six of them. I see six. God, jeez. Look how many ones and twos are rolled. Oh, look at that. So it's six hits on the Jeez. Ouch. Okay, so I've lost six guys, so which I'll, is... I'll put that there. Which, which is, is uh, oh. one, two, three, you can lose the leader. Yeah. Before we even get to draw. Well, yeah. And I've got 11 saves to make. <laughs> so six hits, which is three more than no, no, three. No, no, no. So if I hits. roll a one... Oh, hang on, we'll do that in a minute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you've got six on you. Yeah, I've got six hits on me. So which is enough to do a leader cage, thank God. Yeah. But I've got 11 hits to, to suck. Yeah. Six, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. And I say, not quite as good as you, I'm afraid, on a one or a two. Yeah. I'm a man, I'm a Bill Pike. Yeah. Four plus. Four, four plus. Four plus. Four, five, and six. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, the gods are on the... Uh... Yeah, virtually all of them. I've got three, four kills. Yeah. Four, four to kills. six. Jeez. I thought you were going to... I thought I was going to through. Yeah. Yeah, I thought pancake. I was going to... Blow straight through there. Oh, well, we better do our leaders now. Yeah. So uh, I'll take four hits. Yep. Which takes me to five total. Yep. And, and I took six. six except seven. Seven. me one, one night. One night. Go one single night. I'm here, there. boss. Yeah. Um, That's six and a one. Well, you need another dice. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you have a single night for you? No. No. Just leave it. Yeah. Okay, so leader survivability. Now, what do we do here? Now, it's just, it's just a dual rock, paper, scissors. Oh, no, but we're going to do our surviving combat first. We declare. Oh, yeah, okay. So I, I suffered uh, three more than... than yeah. It's, uh, uh, I think it's, it's over threes. So you roll one dice for each hit over three. No, not one for the hit. It's actually just one dice. I think... No, no, you you got to roll. And if oh, I roll... Really? Yeah. And if I get a one on any of these, yeah. the ones are wounds. Oh, okay. So yeah. take three away. Yeah. Roll it again. Jeez, one's gone into the woods. So, so no that, ones yet. It, okay, so he took no wounds. Oh, okay, so one dies per so it, one. It, 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 I took four, so D6. One X, yeah. No, no it's okay. So now We're it's just a leader. each leaders. other in the melee going, yeah. yeah. So Ooh, now yeah. it's just a straight up dogfight. Dogfight between the two rock, leaders. Rock, paper, scissors. So how do you want to do that? Oh, just, it's just rock, paper, scissors. That's how you do it. Right. It's just supposed to be. But, or we could just roll dice. Yeah, we just we just roll dice. How does it work? I mean, there is actually I've got a, a, a card yeah. from um, Hal Caesar mm. where the leaders actually have a rock paper scissors. No, 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 no. You, you look at the leaders mm. and you just then say, "I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this," and then you compare them. Not so we can do a rock paper scissors thing. Oh. All right, so it's the you do best of three. Yes. For each round of. Of combat, yeah. Uh, for each round of, of status, yes. And we're both heroes. Threes, yeah. Okay, so we do three, and each miss, each loss is a wound. No, it's, it's the way the way it works is this: rock paper scissors three times. Whoever wins the best of three, that's one wound. That's it. And then you do it again because there's three. Oh, yeah. Wow. Unless of course you go, I'm I'm bugging out. But Why they wouldn't do that. <laughs> okay, so Why would I? okay, okay, so one, one two, two, three. three. Okay, I won that one. Okay. One, two, three. I won that one. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, so I won best of three. So one wound to me, because I got... Yeah, I take yeah, that wound. Yeah, so you've got one wound on you so far. So oh. you're now doing a status two, and I'm status three. still status three. Okay, okay. and again. One, two, three. That's a draw. One, two, three. I have got one, you there. And one, two, three. I that draw. So that's a draw. Wound each. Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, well, let's say we both take one wound each. So you're up to two and I'm up, up to one. I've got the handy kill markers here. Yeah. Okay, last round. Now, I could bug out. Yeah, because you've got two wounds on you. Yeah. And I've got one wound on me. So, even though the combat went 
Oh, you've lost combat anyway, so it's gonna you're gonna flee first anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna you're gonna bug out. Off. Yeah. yeah. Oh, how's that gonna work? So we're gonna fight to the death, or does, which which goes first? Well, the the thing is, the the melee fights, and during the melee, basically as that's going on, the the two leaders are fighting one another. Yeah, yeah. And I don't want to lose my leader because if you lose your leader. That's that's, that's ending. So yeah. Miles will take the hit with the disarray. So I might take uh, a disarray think, for fleeing, but you'll take one you, for losing combat by. Yeah. yeah so if you lose the um, me, uh, round of melee, melee, and then the or, winning the melee. Yeah, and leaders in melee. So yeah, when does it? When, yeah. Okay. Oh, I say we do Two commanders in chief attached to opposing units. Um, melee must either quit the melee, causing a morale crisis, or fight a duel. Ah, so you can't, you have to quit the melee before it occurs. And it's already occurred. Okay. So the, the men are fighting desperately. And basically, this is just like Bosworth Field. My my my, my knightly um, bad. bodyguard have all died. Yeah. But I'm like going, I can still win this. If I kill Exeter, I can win this. Yeah. So so we, we do another round. So what happens to your melee? Well, the, you've won it. But the thing is that the, oh, so we're still dueling. dueling. So this still will go. Yeah, this will yeah, still. Yeah, this yeah. Will, so basically, my guy's gonna. So like, you've lost die. the combat. You're like, oh, screw this! I'm gonna fight. It it's now. just like it's, Bosworth Field. Like gone. all of Richard's men at arms are dead around him. Yeah. Literally. But he's like, going, if I can get Henry, I can still win this. Yeah. So um, all right. So this is a let's, an entry game. Okay. One, one two, three. three. No, that's a draw. One, two, three. Uh, one, uh, one, 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 two, three. three. All right, so you've got that one, so oh, two, oh, each. two each. Oh, the All the right, two wounds, wounds each. It comes out of this. It comes out of this. Oh. Okay, one, one, two, three. three. Ah, draw. One, one two, two, three. Ah, oh, you got that one, that one. One, one two, two, three. three. Yeah, you got that one. Two. All right, so, so, so oh, he falls oh, off his horse. That was close, two. So so it took two wounds. It was like Bosworth Field all over again. Oh. So that's it. That's oh. the game. Um, you almost pulled it out. Yeah, you were down to the swing, and I was down to two wounds. Yeah. Like, eleven hits. Yeah. So that's not. But bad. your saves were. The, what? My saves were good, and I did some good hits. I did eight back. Yeah. Which is not over average because I got twelve. Fitty fitty should have been six. So I got eight. So I got up. Yeah. And then you rolled atrocious. And you yeah, yeah, no, I mean, yeah. You saved two. Yeah. But that's um. Hey, but that's you know that's that's war, man. Um. So yeah, what a good. I I, I I I like it. I, it's a good. Th- Simple game. I mean, at the end of the day, there's really so who would have been next out. Well, Exeter would be the next one out. Oh, I'd hope so because you, yeah. you went first. The and then, uh, and then after that would have been a bonus. Oh, it's Somerset. Um, so, yeah, uh, well, I would have had a chance against your men at arms. Your your, your, Som- your Somerset would have been the last one out again. Oh, was it? He would have been. He wouldn't have been the. He didn't get to go. No, not in this. Not in this turn. He oh, that would have been tragic. That's a, yeah, he would have sat there again. Go and shot the pistol. No, I just gone. Oh, I think he'd be starting to run out of arrows. Hopefully. Oh, oh yeah, three, but I, oh, three, three arrows. Yeah, three, good. three arrows. Another forms. round of full war. Yeah. What do you have a dummy card? Uh, I had forfeit. Uh, play on an enemy unit was given an order token. This, this turn can, uh, you can only take one action, not two. So. You know, I would have... Oh, Bowman or something. Yeah, I would have... You know, or Puffer that, Cavalry. Something like that. Yeah, see, it's a pretty good bonus card. Yeah, I mean... So, I, so the only thing I think I'd add to this is yeah. some cards for a battle, like the Flavor. Yeah. Or some other comedy yeah. card, like... I, I, I just think the, the, the one where... The, the one that says... Um, it's a it's an actual... It's a special event where... Um, the, this treachery one, you know... One or two of the unit turns around marches off the field... Um, four, five, or six. It changes size and will attack the nearest enemy. I think that's just that t- and, and unbalances unit, any, a any game. Which unit in particular, any unit. It says, play this card on one leaderless any company or squadron. So it could be a knight nice. unit. Yeah. Could just. I mean, it's it's believable, and these things kind those kind of things happened. Uh, that, yeah, especially well, I, the I think we could new but, I think we could. I just think it's just. It's it's Can too unbalancing. Have. So what we could do is make it. You know, a lot of our, you know we're used to King Maker, You play trick tree cards, and you can have your units. Yeah, with, I mean, so I, you can have a unit where these guys go. Oh, I'm out of here. I would say an unengaged enemy unit on a flank, because it wouldn't like in the midst, surrounded by all like you've got this quasi Lancastrian unit right in the middle of the entire well, York army. Happen. It's like mm, okay, now let's let's hook in. I can understand if the enemy's well, on the what, sides what of you, fighting. What you, 
You could do. I mean, yeah. you know, many variations. You could just have it as the straight roll. Like you, your opponent goes, I've got this card. I'll pick a unit. Now, certain units might be easier to sway than others. I don't know if I'm Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them. So, oh, I'm choosing your knights. That's fine. Mm. What's the chances of changing sides? So probably pretty minimal. Yeah. So, they get a, a minus one to the yeah. dice. But if you choose a foreign unit, get a plus one. Yeah. And if you choose just rank and file, mercenary unit, regular. Yeah. Just the dice roll. So, yeah, the, the bottom... Because I, I bottom line because the because I mean, the nobles don't tend to change that. No, we don't, like if, if you're doing that, the it's it's like if you're sitting off on a hill watching the battle and you've said, oh yeah, I declare for you. Well, just, again, just like at Bosworth, it's like, oh look, Stanley's here. Um, is he with us or is he with Henry? It's like, well, he's just sitting on a hill. Like, what's Warwick, he doing? Oh, Warwick going. Well, today I would like. Yeah, yeah, or, yeah. Well, well, Warwick going. Well, you, you, I'm. You're not letting me be. Quasi king, so now I'm gonna change sides. So. Throw throw Teddy in the corner. And, um, um, I think we can nuance that card a bit better. I'd like to may, I, maybe choose a unit mm. if it's in. It's, it's in um, yeah, I, and I think depending on the because this is more of a smaller game as opposed to a bigger game. Yeah, yeah, it's not. It's I mean the, I most of the War of the Roses battles. I mean the thing is it's scalable. You know, like you could say okay that's that's a unit, but who's who's to say it's not actually who's who's to say that you couldn't make a game where you go, you know what. That's a unit. If you want to. Yeah. You know, know, and to then, me, just so a more you, skirmish with maybe one minor noble versus another minor yeah. noble. And that's great, because that's, yeah. that's a skirmish level. Yeah. So I'm thinking, uh, that card seems okay, but I think we should modify it. Yeah, I mean, and there's the other thing is, of course, you can add cards. Things like, like I was thinking last night, you know, a card that says a horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse, where you just go, you play it on an enemy general and it's like he's been unhorsed why well the horse put it 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 broke its leg take um, a wound it, yeah got some arrows oh, you, know. you could say leader takes a wound yeah well, take a wound yeah. yeah but something something as simple as taking a mounted leader and, him and dismounting him like for example this guy here comes charging in breaks his horse he's fighting back. in there yeah yes, yes it's like ah, bang he's unhorsed now he's vulnerable it's because he's off his horse in the midst of the enemy and it's like, oh, we better get... He's either got to get out or... or Does he get a get, bonus for being on a horse in combat? I don't think they do. Um, they don't, but oh, again, it's one of those things where you have... If I've got a mounted leader and I'm fighting against a dismounted leader... Yes. I should that, get yes, some kind that. of bonus. Yeah, I, I think that's... Well, yeah. or, or make the... So what if you're already a, a leader that's on foot? Well, then if you're a leader on foot and you're fighting against another leader on foot, it's like... It's just, I know, but the cards... Maybe, maybe the card could be unhorsed or... Well, see, a horse just doesn't mean he's literally physically got a horse. It could be his mounted bodyguard. Well, the leader will it, always it, have a horse because he'll just go to you, Sergeant. Give me your horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> but I'm saying, but it's not, it's not necessarily a war horse. Well, or that's right, like but, that. but his retinue isn't mounted. Well, anymore. well, traditionally, the reason why these knights would dismount and fight amongst the men was a it's a signal to them saying, "We're going to win here or die." Because I'm because I'm not on a horse. horse and I don't have, <laughs> I ain't I got a means of getting away, and I don't have a fast chair. So it's like um. I'm okay. We're here, guys. Yeah, no, I'm, I think we'll I'm here, I'm loud, and I'm proud. So you, and I'm lose, going on. you lose your horse, so therefore, it, it limits your movement. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Um, I like the Taunton card, where a weather, uh, weather effect comes into yeah, play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taunton, like, you know... Um, a weather effect, like a blizzard. Like, like heavy uh, rain. Uh, strong headwind. Yeah. You, you know, you're blizzard, headwind, heavy shooting rain. Shooting range. Suddenly sh your bowstrings yeah, are all wet. Yeah, shooting reduced by... Um, well, there is a card in here that's that says sudden downpour. Oh, there you go. Like, um, so that's a weather effect. Sudden heavy rain shower, all shooting except for javelins for the rest of this turn. You must play this card immediately. You can't save it, you know. So what, what does it do to you? Can't. Sh so it just means um, no shooting. Cool. For that one turn, no one can shoot. So we could throw. But, but I'm thinking of one like strong headwind yes. where your your range is reduced by two inches, for example. And that can be telling if I'm at, if I'm at. 15 inches and you're at 13 I can shoot at you but you can't shoot at me oh, sorry, I'm sorry if we're at 15 inches and we're shooting at long range at one other what that effectively does it means I can shoot at you but you can't shoot back that's at me that's a pretty pretty good advantage but it was a good advantage well, is it yeah, a game changing I mean, advantage though? So no well, what, all it does, what it does is it makes you go okay if I want to get in the shooting match I've got to move forward which means I'm losing one of my shooting actions mm because I'm using one of my two actions to move into range. So you could say something like strong gust, blizzard, yeah, yeah. no long range shooting. Yeah, yeah. Your opponent can shoot long range, Yeah, you can't. 
Yeah, something like so that. So suddenly you just lose your ability. So yeah, 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 again, which means you have to get within nine inches. Yeah. To shoot, so not you, it's not that you can't shoot. Yeah. To to shoot back at him, he needs you have to be you cl- nine, close. And your opponent can just sit at fifteen, going. Thum, thum, thum. Yeah. Exactly. No, that's a good card. So, but, else, but the thing is, the bottom line, there are lots of, there are lots of, options. Yeah. I, I look at, never mind the bull, bill hooks, as the kind of game that's. Uh, it's also a toolbox. You can add things to it. Oh, you can simple, take things out that you don't it's simple, like. It's a simple system. It's a really simple system. We've already made some calls on this, Albert. And shooting, okay, yeah. so if in a unit's activation, yeah. they use an activation token, yeah. they call three casualties, that's it. Yeah. Not skirmisher one, skirmisher two, two. bowman, yeah. oh, that's a two, two, three, oh, yeah. right, take a hit, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll do it one round, one round and one unit's activation. Yeah, one unit, yeah, activation. One unit's activation. Mm-hmm. Um, because you, you could go, oh, I'm going to shoot, I'll fire 12 dice, mm. and then go, I'll see what the effect of that is before mm. I decide to fire again. So like in Chain of Command, mm. you can go, I'm going to fire, I'm just going to call, make the call, I'm going to fire 24 dice. Mm. And if and if you do that, then you you're t- then, yeah. then, then there's a chance you could be hit. Or, but you could go, no, I'm going to fire 12, yeah. see the effect. I see. I and see. then fire 12 yeah. and see the effect. Oh, I got you six times over those two rounds of shooting. Don't yeah, count. sorry, don't count. Oh, okay. It, yeah, what I'm saying is, yeah, I, I would say, okay. it. You, you, you're making the call, I'm going to fire, Yeah. I'm going to pour it all in and hope to cause maximum effect, or so I'm going to fire, method? see the effect. So it's, it's per roll. Yeah, per, per, roll. per hand of dice. Yeah, r- whatever you're yeah. rolling. Whether in a single hand of dice. Yeah. So if in a single hand of dice, I cause three or more casualties, okay. and there's a leader there, yeah. there's an opportunity I might get in. And so, yeah, that's a plus and minus. Going, well, I'm going to do 24, but uh, I might yeah. not do it. That's right. And so, so you yeah, you've got to decide, do I do I really pour the fire in? or do I, Because you could go, I'll fire 12... Oh, I've, I've done enough hits there. I, I think we'll learn. Go forward with the we'll Billman. learn quite quickly to not attach leaders to units. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, we'll yeah. Like, uh, I mean, because he moves free with these, but you might just go, meh, move, move. The thing I need to check to see is if he does actually add something to. I don't know. Yeah. Um, it's a good little game. I mean, it had a real flavour. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was looking bad, then you thought, oh, well, there we go. We can fuck well, it. I really think this has got. I mean, I, I like it just as is, but yeah. the potential is. It, is Oh, you, you can, you can do so much more with Google it. Google conflicts buildings. Yeah. They're really good. You'd mm. like them. They're pre-painted. They're all, gun, they're all done. They all look mm. nice. Well, just before we wrap up, yeah. shout out first to Saddle Goose for producing these dice trays and these inserts. Ah. I've got to check your Leader TV one. Um, if we play Sharp Practice, I can always put the Sharp Practice insert in there, which actually, that's Rowan's, and he's kindly given, that, given it to us. Yes, I have. Nice chap. Um, I've got a chain of command one. I've also got this really um, flash um, check your leader. Uh, it's a chain of command shirt here as well um, from Saddle Goose. Oh, so yes. and I've I've got me lardy one. Hang on, I better yeah. adjust my strike, strike a pose. Strike a pose. Yeah. Lovely. There you go. Lovely. Um, so yeah, um, a fun game. But um, I've also been in touch with. Um, Battlefield accessories. So, um, Mike Parker is going to produce a set of tokens uh, that I can use for this game. Very much like the ones in the bag. Uh, they, they, that would be. I think they'd be copyright. Oh, issues, oh sorry, about but that. but they, they, they are very similar and usable for a whole range of medieval games, and I'm going to use them for this because the only reason for that is because. Getting stuff from the UK at the moment is problematic. Mm. Um, so if I month, could get the tokens, I would. Uh, I would, but I'm not going to wait. And that some things are taking up to two months to get here. At, le- at and, least an extra month added on to delivery. Yeah, yeah so so whereas by next week, the tokens that um, these medieval token set that um, Mike Park has produced will be available for me to use. Uh, so the next game I play... Do you want to play another, have another game of this next week? Or, yeah. or All right. So um, just make up a list. Um, I think 150 points... You happy with is, 150? Is, I think 150 is a nice nice number of points. 
Well, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a thoroughly enjoyable game because it, it is quintessentially quite a simple game. Oh, yeah. Pissing. But quite fun in that it allows you just the feel of how it played. Really. Yeah. Yeah. And the other thing, of course, it'd be really good for um, for campaign play. You know, you could... I'll break a Kingmaker if you want yeah, to. Yeah, Kingmaker and, and things like that. Or there's in the Impetus Book 4, there's a thing called the Pretender Campaign. Um, which obviously it's designed for impetus, but it could easily be adapted to to any kind of. Well, we didn't have to. We, would, we wouldn't have to do the whole of England if you want to. You could no, literally you have a fight, fight up, in and, up by around Berwick, yeah, the county yeah. Or, or wherever, yeah, and um, see who the local lord wins. Yeah. All right. We'll wrap it up there. Right. Well, guys, that's our first game of Never Mind the Bill Hooks out of the way. Thoroughly enjoyable. Um, if you um, if you got any comments, please uh, drop some comments in. Um, and uh, if you're going to point out, you know, guys are wrong, wearing the wrong heraldic devices, uh, don't bother. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just, um, we're just, we're just, um, we're just throwing some dice and having some fun. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd be interested to hear your comments. And um, hey, if you like what you see, um, uh, like, share, and subscribe. And as Ginger would say, Yubikwe.